Hello students, you probably know who this is, it's your Professor Dr. Mink, and I'm showing you uh, the wage calculator. I have it built. Here's the form with all the controls, and if I switch back to my lecture, you'll see we need a form, which we have, and three labels, number of hours worked, hourly pay rate, gross pay earned. Let's take a look. Number of hours worked, hourly pay rate, gross pay earned. We also need a text box for hours worked, which allows the user to enter the number of hours worked, and a text box allows the user to enter the hourly pay rate. Here we have text hours worked, text box, text pay rate. We have label gross pay. We have a button, calc gross pay, which calculates the gross pay. And we have a button which closes the application. And those are all of the controls on the user interface. Now, if we look at the next slide, I set the text properties which is the text that displays to all of those controls to wage calculator. Well, I'm not going to read them to you. You can, you can see them there. And if you've gone through the lecture, you can stop at this particular um, slide and take a look. Um, we need an event handler for the button calc gross pay click, which multiplies the number of hours worked by the hourly pay rate. These values are retrieved from text hours worked and text pay rate and a button close click handler that um, terminates the application. If I double click on the button calc gross pay, let's take a look at its event handler. We declare a couple variables, double hours worked as a double, double pay rate as a double, double gross pay as a double. Then we get the hours worked from the text box control. Double hours worked equals C double, convert double, text hours worked dot text, the text property from that control, from that text box. We get the hourly rate and we assign, we convert it to a double and we assign it to double pay rate which has been declared, and now we'll get an initial value in line 13. Then here's the processing. Double gross pay, which was declared in line 6 as a double, is assigned the solution to this expression, double hours worked times double pay rate. Then we assign the gross pay to a label control with currency format. The label gross pay control text property is assigned double gross pay dot two string, and that's the currency format. If I compile and run this, number of hours worked, 40 hours times, we'll just say 10.50, calculate $420. When I click on the Calculate Gross Pay button, the event handler takes over. It retrieves the double from hours worked, the double from pay rate, does the calculation, converts them both to double, assigns them to variables, and then does the calculation, and then displays gross pay in that label. Close, closes the application. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this and hope it adds value to the experience.